In this video, we're going to learn how to swap the values of two variables using pointers in C. The first thing we'll do is declare and initialize two variables. We'll declare a variable of type int called x, which we'll initialize to 5. We'll also declare a variable of type int called y, which we'll initialize to 7. Now, in memory, the values that x and y store are stored at some address. So x and y each have an associated address, and it's at these addresses that the values 5 and 7 are stored. Now, pointer variables store memory addresses, and we can use pointer variables to actually swap the values of these variables. So let's do that. We'll declare a pointer variable with int star p1. So this star here makes p1 a pointer variable, which is going to store a memory address. And the int here means that p1 is going to store the memory address where an int value is stored. Now we'll assign to p1 the memory address of the variable x with is equal to ampersand x. So ampersand x is going to give us the memory address of x, and that's what we're going to store into p1. So somewhere in memory, we'll have p1, and at that location in memory, we're going to have the memory address where x is stored. Now we say that p1 points to x because p1 stores the memory address where x is. Now we'll do the same thing for y. We'll declare a pointer variable p2, and we'll assign to p2 the memory address of y with ampersand y here. So again, somewhere in memory, we'll have p2, and this is going to store the memory address that y is stored at. And we say that p2 points to y because it does this. To complete the swap, we'll also declare an int type variable called temp. And we're going to use this variable temporarily to help exchange the values in x and y. So we'll have here int temp to declare that variable. And again, somewhere in memory, we're gonna have temp. So we'll have temp, that's going to be at some location in memory. Now, to complete the swap, we'll use these variables. So down here, what we'll first do is store the value of x into the temporary variable temp using the pointer variable p1. So we'll have temp is equal to, and we'll assign to temp star p1. So the star here is different than the star here. These stars up here are used to declare the pointer variables. This star here is used to dereference the pointer variable. What it's going to do is give us access to this value here at the memory address that p1 stores. So it basically uses the memory address that p1 stores, and it gives us access to the value at that place in memory. And we're going to take that value and we're gonna store it into temp. So because we put five into temp, we can now safely overwrite this value here with seven, knowing that we've still got five to write back into y here later on. So to do that next step, we'll have here star p1 is equal to star p2. And again, we're dereferencing p1 and p2 using star here where we're accessing what P1 is pointing to. We're accessing this place in memory here. And we're accessing the memory address that P2 stores. We're accessing this value here in memory. And we're taking that value and we're storing it in the memory address that P1 stores. So we're gonna take seven and store it here. Then to complete the swap, we'll take the value stored in temp and we'll store it at the memory address that P2 stores, which is going to be Y. So we'll have here star P2 is equal to temp. And again, we access this place in memory that P2 stores, and we're gonna store five there, which is what temp stores. And that will complete the swap. Let's actually output X and Y to see this. So down here, we'll call printf, and we'll pass it the string X colon, and then percent %d to output an int value, followed by backslash n for a new line, and we'll output x, and we'll do the same thing with y. So printf y colon percent %d backslash n and y. And if we save this and compile the program and run it, 
we'll get here that x is now storing 7 and y is now storing 5, which is correct. Now an advantage of doing it this way with pointers, as opposed to just doing the swap directly, is that we could then create a swap function to perform the swap. So let's do that. We'll take this logic here and cut it. And then up here, we'll declare the function. So we'll have void for the return type because the function isn't going to actually return anything. We'll call the function swap. And the function is gonna have two parameters. We'll have int star p1 and int star p2. So we have two pointer parameters, and these are going to store the memory addresses of two variables, which we'll pass in. Then we'll paste in our logic. So this logic is going to perform the swap exactly as we just did. Then down here, we can call swap. And what we'll do is we'll pass it the memory addresses of X and Y. So that way P1 and P2 are assigned those memory addresses just as before. So let's do that. We'll call swap and we'll pass it the memory address of X and the memory address of Y. And we'll save it and compile the program and run it. And again, it swaps the variables just as before. And now we have this nice clean swap function to swap the values of two variables. So this is how we can swap the values of two variables using pointers in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.